Hello there, this is Brian, and here is Maverick, and welcome to another one of our outdoor adventures. In this outdoor adventure, we will be taking a hike through Peace Valley Park, located in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. We hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, you can really help us out by smashing that like button. Also, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to see future content as we release it. So, without any further ado, let's get hiking! This park has always been pretty special for me. I grew up just a few miles from this park, and it's centered between the local towns of Doylestown, Hilltown, and Chalfont. So needless to say, I spent many days down here riding through the pass and the trails with my bike and just exploring the local area. This lake is an artificial lake that was originally just the north branch of the Chamonix Creek. A dam was created in the 1960s to create a water re reservoir for the area. As a result, you can still see many of the roads leading into the lake that would have crossed across the creek, though most of them have nearly fully eroded away at this point due to time and weather. But if you really do look, you can still see where these roads used to cross through. The first section we are hiking here is part of the Peace Valley Nature Preserve Center, which hosts a wide array of wildlife. Uh, in particular, we're actually going to see a large great blue herring up here on the left. It appears white, but it is a blue herring, um, and these are the largest herrings in North America. Some of the most common wildlife throughout this park are Canadian geese, mallards, deer, raccoons, several species of turtle, and as we saw, occasional blue herrings. This used to be home to a family of bobcats, but I don't think anyone has seen them in some time, but you never know. Tropical Storm Isaias had recently come through this area and released a number of tornadoes in the Doylestown area. This clearing of trees up ahead looks to be the result of one such touchdown with dozens of hundred year old trees just simply thrown apart. I was through here just several weeks ago uh, before the storm and the complete area here was completely pristine and easy to walk through. The name Peace Valley comes from the name of a small community that lived along here before the park was created. The lake itself is named Galena, which is an old term for silver. On the eastern portion of this lake was an old silver, lead, and uranium mine, which was operated in the 19th century. One of the reasons for the mining camp was that this creek actually runs along the southern Chalfon extension of the Ramapo Fault System. Fault lines can often be abundant sources of rare earth minerals due to shifting plate tectonics. And while this fault has not seen any serious activity in the last century, it is considered active with its upper end running near New York City. There are so many activities to do in this park, uh, obviously picnicking, bike riding, running. There's actually some nature trails you can go through, which unfortunately uh, they do not allow pets through the nature trails here, uh, just to preserve the wildlife, which is understandable. There's actually a really nice boat rental. You can take uh, kayaks and whatnot out onto the lake. Um, I do not believe they allow powered boats, but they allow most types of sailcraft and obviously rowboats. Now at this point we diverged a little bit off the main part of the path. I like to come down here. It's a little bit 
more natural. Not as many people come back here, and there's often a chance to see things that you normally wouldn't, um, as a lot of the wildlife will try to steer clear of most people. Now, I really would have liked to have gone through here. One thing to note in Peace Valley is in the more open or the more forested areas, I guess you could say, uh, there is poison ivy. So I did not wear my long pants today, so did not want to risk poison ivy. With that being said, some of these trails are actually really fun to explore in the wintertime. Uh, because, you know, it'll get snowfall here, but it's not too bad rid of structure hiking. Now, coming up here, Maverick decided to branch off and do his own little exploring uh, down in the trees. He gets so excited running through tall grass. Um, let me see him bounding out here. Definitely was a little hot, so he was wearing down. He's usually a lot quicker, but, well, you know, Huskies, they, they do fine in summer, but they definitely don't love it. They live for winter. And I was, as I like to tell them, don't worry, little buddy, winter is coming. Now, we also decided to branch off into some old access roads. And this was an access road when we're going to return. That actually is an old trail that's no longer in service. And then just up here as we're hiking, uh, a deer decided to pop up, saw us, saw Maverick, and I guess decided... Nope, sorry, head back out. So, unfortunately, this is about as close as we were able to get. Of course, Maverick was all excited. He had to go and double check for himself to see if the deer was still to be seen. Which, unfortunately, no. This actually is a really nice area uh, if you want to come see deer, especially uh, toward dusk. You actually see larger herds. I've already seen driving through here a herd of about 30 deer uh, together which is quite large and unusual but it's pretty awesome to see and at this point we're just hiking along the park road that takes you to the different stops and launch points for boats now this old trail is going to be up here on the right and it's actually one of my even though it's just a small connection trail i really just do love coming through here because well, not many people come through here, and it's a little bit let go, so it actually adds a little bit to the charm. There's also this cool little bench here where we like to take a little break on. It gives me a chance to give Maverick some water and just to cool back down. This park itself is part of the Bucks County park system uh, as opposed to the state or federal park system and it really is really well maintained it's probably one of the best it's probably in my opinion the best park or at least best county park in bucks county and really just a joy to walk through and the pavement really helps too um, especially if you're just looking for a long walk or a run through the park or also, too, if you're one of those nuts that likes to walk or hike through the rain, like myself, this actually is a great park to come to. One interesting note, if you do come here during normal rain, uh, I'm not sure what it is about the rain, but it draws out so many herring. Uh, at one point it came through, I think I saw six clustered together. In this case, we just see one just hanging out off into the shore of the lake. And at this point, we're finishing up the loop. And we're coming up to the Overlook, which is on the north side of the park. So that wraps up our hike today through Peace Valley. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about this little hike, and you can leave those comments down below in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video, you can smash that like button for the win, which would really help us out. And if you haven't already, subscribe and you'll get notifications when we release more content. And of course, Maverick and I would like to thank you for coming along with us on this little hike. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, have a great day, and hopefully see you on the trail someday. Happy hiking!